All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do here is we're going to review the partial differences algorithm for subtraction. And uh, what you see here is that we're going to start with a really easy one, uh, but unfortunately we're using decimals. But we're going to look at 28 and 3 tenths minus 13 and 71 hundredths. So before we do anything, we just want to quickly think about uh, an estimate where we're going to get this. So basically, I'm just going to round this to about 30 minus uh, about 10. It's going to give us about 20, if I think of it that way. Remember, your, your estimate doesn't have to be super exact. We're just trying to figure out what magnitude it's going to be. And in this place, I know that's going to be probably around in the tens. So I have to make sure that my answer is going to be in the tens, not in the hundreds, not in the ones. So let's look at our problem here. I'm going to rewrite it this way so we can line up everything perfectly. Cardinal rule about addition and subtraction when it comes to decimals is make sure that your place values line up. The easiest way to do that is by making sure that the decimal place lines up. That tells you this is the end of the whole numbers and into the fractions and decimals here. So here's a problem written down like that. You see here there's a blank space. That means that there are no hundredths here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a zero to indicate there are no hundredths there. That's sort of as a placeholder. That'll help us out. Now, really, this problem ends up being four different problems. We start with all our place value from left to right, from largest to, uh, to, to smallest. So we'll start with the tens. This two really is two tens. That's 20 minus 10, one ten there. This, plain old one. One uh, place, so it's 8 minus 3. Got to write that over here. Here we've got the tenths place, 3 tenths minus 7 tenths. Make sure to put that decimal point in when you're doing that one. And then here, 0 hundredths minus 1 hundredth. So we're going to just basically say 0 minus 1 hundredth. That looks like that. Uh, sometimes you can see that I put a zero in front of a decimal. Sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter. It means the same thing. It's implied that there's nothing in front when you don't do it that way. So, some of these are going to be easy. 20 minus 10, well, that's a piece of cake. Make sure that your uh, place values are lined up, and that's really just 10. And nothing. 8 minus 3, again, a simple math problem. 8 minus 3 is 5. Make sure that you've got it in the ones place. Put your zeros in there just as placeholders. 3 tenths minus 7 tenths. Well, now that's a little trickier because that's a number that's smaller than that one. So we know that when we do the subtraction, we're going to end up in the negatives. This is going to be less than 0. In fact, it's going to go uh, into the negative numbers. So we've got to make sure that uh, when we do this, we have to think about how far into the negative numbers we're going to go. The easiest way to think about it is doing it this way. You do the subtraction this way. 7 tenths minus 3 tenths to get the difference, you'll end up with 4 tenths. But because we're going to be in the negative numbers, because this number is, because 3 tenths is smaller than 7 tenths, I'm going to make this a negative 4 tenths. So I'm going to put a minus sign over there. Because it's negative 4 tenths. It's not the same as 4 tenths. Same thing over here. 0 minus 1 hundredth is going to be less than 0 itself it's going to be 1 hundredth less than 0. So again, I can try that trick the same way. 1 hundredth minus 0 is 1 hundredth. And then, of course, because 0 is smaller than 1 hundredth, we have to make sure that that's a negative number. Oops, forgot this placeholder over here. Now, once we've done that, we can um, add up all of our problems. And when I say add up, I really do mean add up, including the negative numbers. And here's how it works. See. 10 plus 5, that's 15. I know that. But now, from 15, I've got to go to here, where I'm subtracting 4 tenths from that. So I have to think about what 15 minus 4 tenths is. Okay, so this is 15 minus 4 tenths. It's going to go into 14 and 6 tenths. So I know that my answer from this point is going to be 14 and 6 tenths. Then, from this point to here, 14 and 6 tenths, uh, which I also, which also could be considered 14 and 60 hundredths, I have to subtract another hundredth. So that brings it to 14 and 59 hundredths. That's my answer, 14 and 59 hundredths. And 
just all we have to do is make sure that when we're adding them together, we respect that these are negative numbers and uh, we'll be okay. Okay? So just take a look at that. Repeat it if you have to. Practice with a bunch of your own and uh, good luck.